everyone. Welcome to this 10 minute vocal warm up. This works great as a daily vocal warm up or as something to rotate in with your favorite vocal exercises or to get ready for singing practice. Whether it's personal practice or chorus rehearsal, let's jump in with some vocal warm ups and exercises that will get you ready for singing safely and effectively. Take a moment first to double check your alignment and bring your attention to breathing as you center in on the task at hand. Taking now a couple full, deep, relaxed breaths. Now, I love to start any singing practice with some semi-occluded work. So today, let's start with a bubble or a lip trill on the following pattern. We'll sing. Really sliding as we go. Here we go. done. Take a moment to join me with a little physical stretch. Move your face around, open and close your eyes and your jaw and your mouth as we move everything around. Look for places that might be tense and release that tension. Let's make sure that physically we're ready to go. Now after a good stretch, let's really relax everything. As a matter of fact, let your face go all the way to the accidentally falling asleep on the couch level of relaxation. Now retaining some of that relaxation in the tongue and the jaw, let's do the following exercise to focus on releasing and relaxing the jaw. It goes like this. For this one, we want to make sure that the tongue is super relaxed and just moving with the jaw. We don't want to over articulate anything or open too widely. It's just a gentle chewing motion that's full of relaxation. And here we go. Now let's jump into my favorite triad of vocal warm-up exercises. This will ensure first good airflow and relaxation with a then keep that air going with a focused sound and efficient vocal fold closure with an NG sound as in hmm that has no vowel, air goes through the nose. Try it. Hmm. Then we will open it up to a nay sound that will take that good airflow and that focused, efficient vocal fold closure and open it up into a vowel. It sounds like this. Now ideally, we don't want to breathe in between, but do what you need to. When we get a little bit higher, we may open up the vowel to something like a na or a na. Here we go.
Nicely done. You may hear vocal instructors or directors say things like sing in the mask or focus the sound. A lot of those are sensation-based instructions, and we want to make sure that we aren't adding any adverse tension or manipulating the sound unnaturally. Using sounds like M and N and NG, mm, 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 they really set us up for success in this regard. So capitalizing on this, we are going to sing the words, mommy made me mash my M&Ms. That's weird. And it sounds like this. Mommy made me mash my M&Ms, try it, go. Mommy made me mash my M&Ms. Great job. Let's take that great, efficient, and buzzy feeling and add in some resonance with this exercise. Now we don't want a perceivable vowel on the hmm, just like before. Moving as little as possible open to an E. Again, we might modify that vowel when we get a little bit higher. Here we go. Great job. I love this next vocal exercise. It sounds like this. For me, it really helps keep things relaxed. It helps keep my tongue out of the way. It's hard to bunch up the tongue when you sing fo. And then it moves into a more open sound where we can retain that relaxation as we sing. Let me sing it for you one more time, a little slower. It sounds like this. Great. Let's take a moment to check in with our breath and alignment as we get ready to cover a bit of a wider range. We're going to do a simple one octave arpeggio like this. Give it a try. You can feel like you're expanding and opening using plenty of air to get up and over the top. This is a really good time to suspend judgment and just allow your voice to open and observe what happens. Here we go.
feeling warmed up and ready to go. Thanks for joining me and my guest piano. If you've been enjoying my videos, please make sure to like and subscribe to support my channel, and I will see you next time.